Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing while the York High School National Junior ROTC posts the colors and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Color Guard, please post the colors. Gentlemen, please remove your hats. Everyone, please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the national anthem. Take your seats. Our Bruton High School band under the direction of Mr. Brandon Monroe will now perform Overture for Winds by Charles Carter. Thank you. 
Would everyone please stand? Thank you. You may now take your seats. Good morning. Welcome to the commencement exercise for Bruton High School, class of 2021. <laughs> Parents, family, and friends, we are grateful that you have joined us here today. Dr. Shandor, Mr. Higginbotham, Mr. Schaefer, school board members, and York County executive team members. Thank you for being here as well. Bruton faculty and staff, please stand to be recognized. Thank you for your dedication to teaching and learning as we navigated one of the most challenging years of our educational career experience. You may take your seats. Today, we also posthumously recognize Eric McKenzie May II as a proud member of the class of 2021. Eric's memory is carried in the hearts of many Brutonians. The green and gold floral arrangement in front of the podium is symbolic of the bold spirit, courage, and pride of a Bruton Panther. In his honor, Eric's parents, Mr. and Mrs. May, have joined us today in celebration. Thank you. And now, your senior class president, Hanan J. Jones, will give the welcome. Good morning, Dr. Shandor, school board members, Mrs. Dockery, faculty and staff, guests, and the class of 2021. It is with great pleasure that I welcome you to the Bruton High School Class of 2021 Commencement Exercise. We are especially grateful that everyone has joined us this morning to celebrate our accomplishments here at Bailey Field. But since this is a celebration, it is only right that we do this one last time. Students, Please rise. It's only good if we do the Bruton chant one last time. So, class 2021, are you with me? Yeah. Panther Nation, are you with me? Yeah. All right, here we go. What's the name of that school? Bruton. Rocking that green and gold? Bruton. Say it like a panther, mean it like a panther. BHS is right. We are the bona fide, high-class, sensational seniors of the world that are ready to take on any obstacle that comes our way. We will continue to strive as we have been and will continue to do. Seniors, you may now be seated. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is my esteemed privilege to introduce our special guest of York County Schools on stage joining us today for this momentous occasion. Dr. James Carroll, Chief Operations Officer. Mrs. Candy Skinner, Chief Academic Officer. Mr. Bill Bowen, Chief Financial Officer. And Dr. Tony Vladu, Chief Human Resource Officer. I am also pleased to introduce the members of the York County School Board 
representing District 1 and Bruton High School, Mr. Mark Schaefer. <laughs> representing District 2 and serving as school board chair, Mr. Brett Higginbotham. <laughs> representing District 3 and serving as school board vice chair, Mrs. Laurel Geralt. <laughs> representing District 4, Mr. James Richardson. And representing District 5, Mr. Sean Myatt. The Honorable Brett Higginbotham is the chairman of the York County School Board, representing District 2. Mr. Brett Higginbotham was born in North Dakota, but grew up in Fredericksburg, Virginia. He graduated from Chancellor High School in 1999 and received his Bachelor of Arts in Music Education from Virginia Tech in 2003. Since graduating from Virginia Tech, he has taught at the middle and high school level in Montgomery County, Newport News, and Pocosin, Virginia. He is nationally board certified in mu instrumental music and serves as an active adjudicator and clinician working with bands throughout Virginia. Mr. Higginbotham lives in Yorktown with his wife, Beth, who is a choir director at Grafton Middle School, and their two sons, Micah and Joel. Now, Mr. Brett Higginbotham, York County School Board Chair, will give greetings from the York County School Board. Good morning and congratulations, Class of 2021. Years of hard work, dedication, and Googling have finally paid off. Every graduating class has a story to tell, and you, class of 2021, have one heck of a story. I'm in no way saying you're going to look back through the rearview mirror a decade or more from now and think about how great this time was, but you will realize how this time helped make you great. But let's also be honest. How many of you are tired of hearing phrases like unprecedented times, persevere and be flexible, everyone needs a little bit of grace, and just check the Canvas module. The instructions and due dates are clearly posted right there. Years from now, your children, nieces, nephews, anyone younger will see a picture and ask, why is everyone wearing masks? You'll take a slow, deep breath, sit down, and say, boy, do I have a story for you. Your mindset and point of view will color the story that you decide to tell. Will you talk about all the things that changed and made life more difficult? all the incredible plans you had that were instantly dashed? Will you rattle off a list of things that you missed? Or will you tell a story of how you overcame adversity, figured out how to be successful, changed your outlook on what's really important to become a better version of yourself? Class of 2021, let me tell you a few things that I've learned from you. You never give up. You are relentless. Even with the circumstances that you were given, you were never truly alone, despite quarantines, lockdowns, and attending class in your pajamas from your bedroom. You relied on your friends and peers, teachers, counselors, administrators, siblings, parents, and more to lift you up in a new way to grow, learn, and find success. In a matter of days, probably hours, you learned to navigate new technologies like Canvas, Flipgrid, Teams, and countless other apps and programs, and you figured out how to not just show growth, but you excelled while doing it. You're a class and a generation with a passion for technology. Many of you will work in fields using technology that hasn't even been invented yet. In fact, someone sitting right here, right now, probably has an idea for an app or new tech design that will change how everyday things are done, how people communicate, how information is shared, found, and learned that will change the world. You will innovate, you will pioneer new fields, and you will create a new and dynamic workplace. You also continue to make memories. I'm sure they're not the kind of memories that you were expecting. If you were asked when you were a freshman to describe what your senior year would be like, I am absolutely positive not a single one of you would have described anything like what you have just experienced. Life gets busier and busier. You graduate, you go to college, you join the military, you learn a trade, you join the workforce, you start your own business, you will build your own future. But take time and stop, take a deep breath and smile, and think about the memories that you've made. 
Remember a moment in your favorite class or a time with your favorite teacher. Think about your favorite song, maybe the one that you sang or played during a school concert. Remember that school play that you were in or that you saw. Remember how you promised yourself you would never stay up until 3 a.m. the night before the big assignment was due. Then remember the time you did it again two weeks later. So class of 2021, on behalf of the other school board members, your teachers, and all YCSD staff, I say congratulations. You will be a class that goes further than the ones that came before you because you've accomplished something that they have not. You've reached this point in your life's journey while navigating a path that had never been charted. Be proud and celebrate. Remember the lessons you've learned, remember what you've earned, and go change the world one day at a time, but change out of your pajamas first. Congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Higginbotham. Dr. Victor Chandra was appointed as superintendent of the York County, York County School Division in August 2014. He has 27 years of public education experience as a teacher, principal, and district administrator. Shandor, a 1992 graduate of California University in Pennsylvania, began his career in education as a teaching assistant. He then earned a master's degree in exceptional education from Old Dominion University and ultimately a doctorate in educational leadership from Wingate University. Dr. Shandor grew, grew up in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. He and his wife, Melissa, have three children. Thank you, Riley. Good morning. Come on, we gotta wake up a little bit. Let's hear it for these graduates, guys. Congratulations and good morning again, uh, Bruton High School class of 21. Wow, you made it. Now each year I struggle over a topic, quote, or message that I wanna share. I don't want it to be too long that you tune me out. Or the opposite, too short and it appears I don't respect all the hard work which brought us to this day. I often use sports analogies to make a point about concepts such as hard work, teamwork, dedication, goal setting, etc. Typically, it's a Pittsburgh Steelers reference. There we go, there's a couple of you here. But I wanted to refrain from that this year. I had staff members actually challenge me to work in as many movie references from the 80s. Parents, you can relate. Breakfast Club, 16 Candles, Fast Times at Ridgemont High. However, I'll spare you these references. This year, I decided to keep it simple. So before I welcome and thank our teachers and families celebrating with us today, I wanted to take 20 to 30 minutes and briefly summarize this past year. The continuity of learning plans from the spring of 2020, the four, I'm just kidding, I'm not going to go through all that, none of you want to hear that. We certainly don't want to relive the challenges we all faced during this year. Instead, let's talk about what we learned about ourselves. We all learned how to adapt to our new reality. We learned how to persevere through adversity. We learned how to lean on each other as a community. Many of you learned how to better prioritize your time. In my case, I learned how to utilize technology more efficiently without calling the help desk. And in my son's case, he learned when his mom gets assignment alerts, he better look out. There's no doubt this year and a half has been a challenge, but at the end of the day, life's a challenge. We're constantly having to adapt, persevere, and lean on other people. You have learned valuable skills this year, but more importantly, you learned a lot about yourself. Today is not the end, it's the beginning. And we all look forward to the amazing things you will accomplish in your life. So in closing, teachers, this was easily the most challenging year throughout my last 27 years in public education. Thank you for being flexible, having an open mind, collaborating with each other, and persevering through all the changes this year. We will be stronger because of what we learned this year. Can we give our teachers a big round of applause? And parents, I speak for the division and thank you for your support this year. As a division, we thought losing the Grafton Complex on February 3rd, 2020 was gonna be our biggest challenge. Who knew a month and a half later the entire world would change? Thank you for working with us as a partner. 
And finally, graduates, you certainly earn sitting in those chairs on this field today. You lost some experiences and opportunities your junior year, as well as an interrupted senior year during, due to COVID-19. But you worked hard, you adapted, and you persevered. And you've reached a major milestone in your life, and I'm honored to share this accomplishment with you. Please remember, we love you. We wish you the best, and congratulations. Thank you. Dr. Shandor. The Bruton High School Band will now perform Heroes Near and Far Movement 5 Heroes. celebrate the salutatorian for the class of 2021, Elijah Smith. Eli's teacher described him as inquisitive and analytical in the ways he seeks out new experiences, perspectives, and understandings of new concepts. Eli is a member of the York County School Division, School of the Arts, and the Literary Arts Program. He has put forth exceptional effort in a variety of extracurricular activities in his school and community. In his junior year, he interned with Dr. Mark Downey for the 2019 campaign for Virginia House of Delegates. This valuable experience taught him about his community and the issues that were important to him. He was able to learn more about local government and politics. Eli exemplifies real leadership and has held the position as a captain of the cross country team, as well as indoor and outdoor track team leader for two years. He has been a member of the Model United Nations for several years. He also plays several instruments, such as the piano, guitar, drums, and mandolin. Eli plans to attend Dartmouth College and major in government next fall. Elijah Smith, Class of 2021 Salutatorian. To some generations, much is given. Of other generations, much is expected. This generation of Americans has a rendezvous with destiny. Franklin D. Roosevelt said these words in 1936, in the middle of the Great Depression, to a generation that had seen a pandemic much worse than ours in their youth. Five years after this speech, they would find themselves fighting the Second World War 
of their lifetime. They'd then live in fear of nuclear annihilation, and they'd see the division caused by the Vietnam War. As they grew old, they'd witness the greatest reshuffling of racial and societal roles since women's suffrage. We don't get to choose the time they were born into. If I could have, I would have chosen a normal senior year. One with homecoming and pep rallies and football games and senior nights. Even getting up ridiculously early to sit in a classroom for seven hours a day seems pretty nice compared to a lot of the isolation that we experienced. I most definitely would have chosen a year when sports seasons were predictable. In fact, about a week ago I was standing right here wondering how we could get through a pandemic just to have our final regional track meet canceled because of lightning. I know that I would have chosen a year without the tremendous losses that the Bruton community has felt. I don't think that anyone here would have wanted this year to be their senior year. But we don't get to choose. We are dealt a hand that we can't control and we try to make the best of it. I can tell you that our teachers made the best out of it this year. Jacobson stuck us in breakout rooms that were so incredibly awkward at first, but by the end we were all talking about Supreme Court cases like we were lawyers. Ms. Grant sent us outside to find animals in our backyard. Ms. Clausen found an eccentric stonemason on YouTube who taught us all about ancient architecture. Dr. Kingen and Dr. Drew allowed us to be creative even if it meant going slightly off topic. And Mrs. Wells continued her fascinating physics activities in a virtual format. I could go on for hours with all the examples I've heard this year of teachers making the best out of our situation. We also saw the administration bend over backwards to give us a prom and a homecoming parade. And our coaches kept supporting us, continuing to encourage us to do our best and not worry about the things that we were out of our control. The Bruton community also came together for the holiday food drive and helped over 100 families. But it wasn't just the adults. We made the best of it too. We rolled with the punches the entire time and still showed up to make the limited events that we had successful. We continued to lead our sports teams to improve despite all of the challenges. And though I think that we're all guilty of sleeping through a couple of classes, the fact that we showed up at all and pushed through a year of online senioritis is pretty impressive in my book. The class of 2021 has learned things from high school that we weren't taught in a classroom, but will be invaluable to us in the future. We've learned to be flexible and to be resilient. We've learned how to be a community, even when things get in the way. And we've learned to be understanding and patient with one another. I wish I could tell you that it would get easier after we cross this stage, but we're still the generation that will see the effects of climate change and income inequality and the rise of authoritarianism abroad and at home. Just because we made it through this pandemic doesn't mean we're done facing hardships in our lives, but it does mean that we'll be more prepared in the future. We aren't the first generation of which much is expected, and we won't be the last. America has gone through difficult times before, and it will go through more difficult times. But we've made it through every challenge, not just holding on for dear life, but working to improve the world one step at a time. It may not always feel like it, and it may be difficult, but we all have what we need to take our step in the long walk towards a better world. Congratulations, class of 2021. Bruton High School is proud to celebrate our valedictorian for the class of 2021, Isabel Kieser. Isabel is proactive and ambitious and desires to work in the STEM field. At Bruton, Isabel has held numerous roles in clubs and honor societies. She has served as National Honor Society Treasurer, Mu Alpha Theta President, and a dedicated member of the Chemistry Honor Society, Panther Achievement Leaders, and the French Honor Society. She volunteers in the community with Key Club and the Heritage Humane Society. Isabel is also a varsity starter of our Bruton tennis team, and she plans to study chemistry at the University of Virginia next fall. Congratulations, Isabel Kieser.
Good morning, Superintendent Shandor, Principal Dockery, representatives of the York County School Division, Bruton High School faculty and staff, family, friends, and fellow graduates. It is my honor to stand here today to address you as valedictorian of the Bruton High School class of 2021. I am especially pleased that we are able to gather together in person. It is great to see everyone without the barriers of a screen or masks. Let's take this opportunity to thank everyone in the York County School Division and at our school who made this celebration possible. You, our administrators, teachers, and staff have guided us through an increasingly challenging year while navigating the technical difficulties presented by Microsoft Teams and the novelty of hybrid learning and being separated from the people to whom you have dedicated your careers, your students. Thank you. Over the past 13 years of education, our teachers have worked to equip us with all the resources we need to succeed in life. They've taught us everything from how to write our ABCs to the quadratic formula. Coach Barr has taught us the repercussions of being defenestrated, while Coach Jacobson has led passionate discussions on the legitimacy of playing with a wooden Swedish horse. Dr. D has encouraged us to pursue the sciences, while Ms. Schleif ensured that we memorized the unit circle. While we learn from our teachers every day, some days we learn even more from our friends. My friends have taught me how to balance education and relaxation and how to stray from the beaten path. They've taught me how to have healthy competition that doesn't diminish the enjoyment of high school and have been my support throughout the pandemic. While teachers have labored over grading essays and tracking down missing assignments and friends have come and gone, we have each gained our own identity and personality. Despite learning the same things as our peers sitting next to us in class, each and every one of us has developed an individual perspective on the world. We all have something new to contribute to the communities, and we've all found our own niche in the complex layers associated with Bruton High School. Bruton and our previous schools have all prepared us as best as they could for this moment. For us to walk across this stage and finally receive the piece of paper that allows us to not be confined to the cinder block walls of a school lit with fluorescent overhead lighting for seven hours every day. But it is what we do with our newly gained knowledge that will dictate the course of our lives. To quote the renowned novelist, Nobel Prize winner, and dedicated activist Toni Morrison, I'm a believer in the power of knowledge and the ferocity of beauty. So from my point of view, your life is already artful waiting, just waiting, for you to make it art. Each of us has the knowledge to change the world, gifted to us by our teachers and communities. As a class, we have dealt with challenges that no one could have predicted. Now it is time to step forward with that knowledge and with the lessons that we have learned from living through a time of great uncertainty and confusion. As I look at all of you, classmates, many of whom I've known for many years, I see a life waiting to unfold. I look forward to seeing where everyone's lives lead them. As we head in different directions to start our careers, continue our education, or enlist in the military, I encourage everyone to do what they love and, as Toni Morrison put best, make your life art. I hope that everyone here can take their life one step further. Make your life an enjoyable one where you can take every opportunity given to you. Create your own museum of memories complete with passion and compassion. Cherish the small moments, the vines of ivy that creep up the solid brick wall, the rainbow peeking through a storm cloud, the reunion with a friend that you haven't seen in a while. Take the knowledge and power allotted to you and make your life art. And I encourage you to remember that we are, each and every one of us, works of unique and masterful art. Congratulations, Panthers. Today is a very special day for each Bruton High School graduate. You being here today is evidence of your persistence, dedication, and desire to never give up. Achieving excellence is always a carefully designed plan that includes high intention, sincere effort, intelligent direction, skillful execution, and vision to see obstacles as opportunities. Although your four years at Bruton passed very quickly, it is important for you to remain intentional 
about your success as you continue to study at a college or university or pursue a career or serve our country in the military. Remember, all success begins with a vision followed by a strong desire to complete the work and learn from every obstacle, whether it was how high you would need to climb to get over it or how to maneuver around it with grit and tenacity. It is important to never forget the lessons that you learned. These words of Maya Angelou provide reassurance during difficult times. It is my hope that you remember these words as well. No matter what happens or how bad it seems today, life goes on and it will be better tomorrow. Us being here today, gathered in this place together, is evidence that these words are true. Use these experiences to intentionally transform the world. Congratulations, class of 2021. The Bruton Medallion has been commissioned to represent one of the highest honors that can be award to, awarded to a graduating senior at Bruton High School. Only those seniors who have for all of their years at Bruton contributed to the spirit and pride of the school may be selected. The principal looks for those students who have dedicated themselves to Bruton High School. These students have been active, helpful, hardworking Panthers giving their energy and time beyond all expectations. The Bruton Medallion is awarded to at the graduation ceremony and all recipients are unaware of this honor until that time. The Bruton Medallion is bestowed on those precious few who personify all that Bruton represents. This year's recipients were always dutiful, always helpful, no matter the request. They were always willing to provide support to anyone with a smile. And because this is an unprecedented year, we have an unprecedented presentation today and with four recipients. Would Tyler Wood, Hanan J. Jones, Allie Custer, and Erica Schaff please come forward to receive the medallion. At this time, we will prepare for the presentations of diplomas from Bruton Administration, Dr. Wyatt, Mr. Jones, Mrs. Leah, and Bruton Counselors, Mrs. Reed and Ms. Cruz. As we prepare for the presentation of diplomas, please remember that it is important that each family member hears the name of their graduate. Our first row of graduates will now stand and proceed to the stage to receive their diploma as a visible symbol of their graduation from high school. Mark William Abbott, Jr. Yeah. 
Nadim Amir Abdul Melik. Jamie Lynn Adams. Devon Ashby Madison. Dustin Xander Alberg. Andrew Samuel Balawajer. Ashley Nicole Baldwin. Jolicia Emerald Marie Barton Green. Emily Scout Bean. Hannah Grace Beasley. Rebecca Ann Beaver. Christian Maya Becerra. Sean Philip Belikoff. Addison Corinne Belot. Kitana Shalice Benamino. John Alexander Boucher. Alec Edwin Bradley. Go, Alec. Elijah Eugene Bradley. Yeah, Elijah. Penelope Ann Brooks. Dylan Xavier Cardona. Justin Alexander Causey. Diana Frances Elizabeth Chalkley. Anthony Dylan Chen. Justice Xavier Chen. Vincent James Cherry. Luis Jorge Cintron. Rachel Lynn Courtney. Zachary Michael Crow. Justin Jeffrey Evardo Curtis. Allie Nicole Custer. Juan Carlos David Del Cid. Rachel Elizabeth DeMickey. Yes, Brandon Lee Downs. <laughs> Amber Nicole Albania Allison. Jonathan Daniel Escalera. <laughs> Olivia Ann Evans. Noelle Elizabeth Ferguson. Jenna Marie Fulbright. Adrian Thomas Rain Garcia. Katie Bell Gentry. Destiny Nicole Gillespie. Kasaya Renee Gentilis. Linda Yvonne Gist. Ashayla Mykira Grant. 
Ethan Michael Grimmer. Kendall Sierra Haldeman. Joshua Mark Hammond. Maya Nicole Harvey. Aiden Patrick Hayes. Zoe Christine Hefner. Jillian Taylor Hickey. Megan Nicole Hicks. Samuel James Houston. Tiana Marie Howard. Antoine Alonza Jackson. DeAnthony Dytrell Jackson. Bronco Peter Jaworski. Brianna Jacqueline Jaworski. Elijah McKee Jimison. McKay, sorry. <laughs> David Leroy Jimison. James Edward Johnson. Madison Joy Johnson. Hanan Jabari Jones. Austin Mateo Judge. Oliver Elnor Cagillari. Maya Rosemarie Kinter. Isabel Lee Kieser. Maxera Olive Laws. Darnell Ali Lawson. <laughs> Lawrence. Sorry, Lawrence. <laughs> Caleb Foster Lee. Maxine Renee Orion Lee. Xavier Craig Lewis. Jacob Peter Lohr. Caitlin Elaine Lopez. Morgan Elizabeth Lauk. Solomon Matthew Manamel. Liam Carey Mann. Samuel Robert Mann. William Howard Mann. Derek Manzi. Cameron Lavelle Matthews. Lauren Nicole Mazanek.
Peyton Brooke McKittrick. Charlotte Francis McNeil. Michaela Jo Meacham. Taylin Kennedy Millard. Katherine Morgan Miller. Haley Jessica Mizell. Victoria Grace Moyer. Taylor Brianna Mullins Davis. Raul C.J. Nasher. Mackenzie Elizabeth Near. Cordell Devante Negron. Nathan Bradford Nelson. Casey Diego Newsom. Jaden Michael Nickerson. Michael Ryan Knoll. Preston Rashad Pace. Lauren Emily Pallas. McKenna Reese Party. Katerina Spring Parent. Rhea Hamant Patel. Ryan Ashley Patasaw. Gloria Plancarte. Kennedy Lennon Porter. Kaylee Jordan Privigy. Savannah Lynn Reynolds. Sean Allen Richardson. Kiani Lanique Richardson Shackelford. Laura Grace Raleigh. Irene Sarahi Rivera Hero. <laughs> Haley Michelle Roberts. Go, Jasmine Camille Robinson. <laughs> Joan Amber Robe. Matthew Pablo Rosado. Margaret Belia Russell. Preston Chamberlain Sakamura. Alexander Dean Sanders. Tessa Rose Savage. Jalen Marquette Savoy. Go, 
Erica Lindsay Schroff. Ashanti Lene Scott. Kaitlyn Elizabeth Scott. Cornelius Trayvon Selby. Elijah St. Clair Smith. Samuel James Smith. Elliot Zane Sowers. Samantha Ali Spett. Jacob Marshall Sprigg. Alexis Helena St. Martin. Amarion O'Neill Stevens. Tevin Randy J. Stevens. Trisha Salinda Stevens. Riley Park Stoutenberg. Jonathan Hughes Strong. Kayla Shalyn Suffrage. Hezekiah Elakim Talaferro. Chance Robert Taylor. Elijah Maxwell Thompson. Emma Caroline Elizabeth Tignor. Aiden John Torrey. Howard Edward Townsend the fifth. Aiden Kai Chigaritas. Jordan uh, Jordan Alexis Turnstall. Olivia Aaron Turner. Noah Thomas V. Hill. Isaiah Khalif Wharton. Logan Lee Washington. Kate Elizabeth Westenberger. Marquise Jaheem Whitaker. Deja Patricia Whiting. Tyler Caleb Wilson. Tyler Stephen Wood. Hunter Stephen Worley. Zachary Andrew Worley. Alexis Leilani Young. And Jason Zaladon.
While we wait for our graduates to return to their seats, I have a point, an important announcement from the York Pocosin Sheriff's Office. Please listen to this important announcement. As you return to your vehicles, it is imperative that you follow these directions for exiting the parking lots. York Pocosin Sheriff's Office deputies and YCSD staff will assist you in exiting. If you are in the front of the building, uh, sorry, if you're in the front field or parked in front of the school, you will exit the grounds by taking Route 17. If you're in the main parking lot, or near the baseball fields, you will exit using the lane behind Bailey Field Stadium onto Cook Road. Please drive toward the stadium as you exit the lot. If you're in the range parking lot closest to the buses, you will exit by turning left onto Falcon Drive. Also, please know that an additional exit for walking to your cars is now open just past the concession stand on the home side of the stadium. We appreciate everyone's patience and support with following these directions. And now, with the class of 2021, please stand. <laughs> by the authority vested in me as your principal, by the Commonwealth of Virginia, and by the school board of the York County School Division, I declare that each of you has successfully completed the course of study required for a high school diploma and are thus graduates of Bruton High School. You may now turn your tassels. <laughs> Audience members, please stand for the recessional. Thank you for attending our commencement ceremony today. Congratulations, Bruton High School, class of 2021. You did it!